it just seemed to be a tense time. And then COVID, pandemic comes in and it really knocked a lot of people off. People didn't know what to do. It was the straw that broke the camel's back for many. Today, you are gonna hear how to enjoy today and own your tomorrows. So you've come to the right place because today we're talking to Lane Lawson Craft and she has a best-selling book on that. Yes. So, and lots of awards too, but she's also gonna help you in the area of uh, prodigals. So, and I think we're all prodigals in one way or another. So we're excited to talk with her today. Welcome, Lane. Thank you, I'm so honored to be here. This is awesome. So tell us your story. Start us out. How did it happen? Yes. Well, you know, I, I tell people I was just an everyday, ordinary woman. Um, I graduated from college, and my husband and I uh, were both entrepreneurs. And you know, we were doing what our what our best roots told us, and that's just live right and do right, and maybe life would turn out right. So, life started layering. We had three children. Our last child was a preemie, very sick. Again, we were running businesses. We weren't in a 401k situation. Nobody was writing us a check, but God. And so um, during that time, I was very challenged in my faith and our marriage was suffering and we had a miracle in our marriage. God resurrected it. And after that, uh, the Lord said, start with your storyline. So we're kind of going where the roots are, uh, Natalie, because I was just living life and, and God moved in my life powerfully. And my response to that was, I've got to shout this to everybody, that God loves you and he's restoring broken things in your life and he's truly resurrecting dead things. So that's how it all started. Oh, and I know that, especially in the past two years even, and prior to that, the strain in those relationships can be so hard. So what do you recommend for people that are having those difficult times? Right. Well, you know, I kind of go pre-COVID. Life is layered up for a lot of people pre-COVID. Uh, it just seemed to be a tense time. And then COVID, pandemic comes in, and it really knocked a lot of people off. People didn't know what to do. It was the straw that broke the camel's back for many. So isn't it interesting that God had already put this message in my heart. How can I help people that are hurt walk out of that into healing? So it's a three R process. What we do is we go when we have the trauma, we run, we go, we can't handle this, right? So what I encourage people to do is when that trauma or tragedy, maybe a trial comes in, don't run from God, run to Him. So the first R is reconnect. We've got to reconnect to God. Then we go into a second step, and that is realign. So we bring these broken pieces, you know, we've run back to God and said, God, you are going to have to help me. And we don't try to clean it up or do anything in our control. So we go to Him and we realign our lives to Him and we give Him our hearts. And then the third R is we reactivate this. And this is what we do. We pull on the power inside of us. It's not in our capacity. It is His capacity, His strength, that we're able to really find healing. Oh, that's such a good way to put it. And all of this is in your book, yes. right? Which is called Enjoy Today. Own Tomorrow. Own Tomorrow. Such a good title. Yes. And so what led you to write that book and what do people get out of it? I know you've right. talked about that some. Well, I think the biggest part about this book is it's real. We talk about being angry at God. You know, we don't talk about that enough. I mean, one of the emotions when maybe a child dies, you know, you get angry at God. You go, God, why did, why did you let this happen? Uh, what we do is validate hurts first. And then we just walk through, okay, now run to God with this heart. You know, realign your brokenness with His will and His ways. And just know all things will work for good because that's what He promises us. And again, the most important part is we can't do it on our own. 
You know, this takes an act of God, a move of God, and that's in that reactivation. You go, God, it's the power in me that's living. It's the part of Christ that was left for me. You know, greater is he that lives in you than he that in the world. So it's through that power. Wonderful. So what have your readers found to be a key in your book that they really haven't found elsewhere? I think that it's relatable. I think it takes people where they are. You know, unless we meet people where they are, you know, it's not where we expect them to be. You know, it's not where we wish they'd be, even though sometimes we do. Uh, we just, we meet people where they are. And so that's the important thing. And then again, the real part, the transparency, that it's okay to be angry with God. It's okay to not be okay. And most people just need a little push. They just need, what can I do? And I just think it's incredible the way the three R's, if you do these steps, the three R's, if you reconnect, realign, and reactivate your life in Him, you will certainly move from hurts into healing. Did you ever imagine that it would affect so many people? Uh, tell us about the success that the book has had and, right. and the changed lives. Well, I mean, pandemic has hurt everyone, hasn't it? I mean, in an instant, our world was turned upside down. And so it was right there. People were coming, going, okay, Lane, what's God doing? You know, I, that was, I lost my job. You know, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people had to work from home. I had friends that were literally trying to work and do homeschool and, you know, go to the grocery, do everything. Everybody was maxed out. So this book just came in at perfect time. You know, it allowed people, again, I think the biggest thing from people is they want to be validated in this hurt. You know, we tend to, as uh, faith-believing people, to kind of minimize, oh, God's got it. Oh, pray more. You know, read more scriptures. Isn't it refreshing when someone says, I understand. You know, it's okay to hurt, but we don't want to stay there. And that's when I'm able to offer these three R's. That's when it becomes really a lifestyle. I tell people all the time, Natalie, this isn't a one and done deal. I mean, presently today, we are looking at a lot of war. I mean, we don't know where we'll be in a year. So this is a practice that you're gonna have to do, I laugh and say, sometimes all day. What are you working on now? You have a big announcement? I do. We just literally, uh, a few days before the recording, uh, released Warfare Parenting Podcast. We are in war. I tell parents every day, you're not in war with that teen. You're not in war with that young adult making self-destructive choices. You're in war with the devil who's out to seek, kill, and destroy these kids. So my family, three children, uh, they now are presently 27, 28, and 30. And uh, at one time, Natalie, all three of my children had been sucked up by the world. They would tell me, Mom, I'm just doing what everybody else is doing. And guess what? They were. But this is at a time when I was nationally speaking. I had a national magazine. I was bringing so many women back to Christ. And yet my own children were under the influence of demons. And so the Lord pressed upon me a year ago. He said, Lane, there are so many parents facing suicidal children overdoses, tragic things. He said, this story that's in your heart, all three of my children now, Natalie, are serving the kingdom in a personal way, meaning they pray for the sick. They're young adults that see someone at the grocery that might be in a wheelchair, and they'll say, ma'am, can I pray for you? So these children that were doing terrible things are now the greatest messengers for the kingdom. So how did we do that? Well, we have a book coming out soon. I you know, March 2023, so I'll have to come back. But it's a parent, it's the parent battle plan, warfare strategies to win back your prodigal. In this book, you will find so many spiritual revelations, but then the practical applications. Every chapter has a call to action, and this is truly the battle plan. We will win the victory. We will bring our prodigals home. Uh, and yeah, fortunately, Jesus Christ has done the, yes. the real victory for us as well. Yes, so, has. yes. 
you know, it really is a war. I mean, I just really, you know, if somebody had told me when one of my kids was flipping a car drunk or uh, a child was depressed or whatever, that you're not in war with them. It's not that they're trying to get to you or make bad choices on purpose. They're in a war. And you know what? We've already won the war. You're exactly right. And so I just help parents with great applications and spiritual revelations bring that to reality for their child. And it brings so much hope that they are going to win, you know. And God is the perfect parent of prodigals because yes. that's basically all he has. And he is with you yes. in bringing that prodigal home. So yes. we can definitely pray, yes. which I'd love you to do yes. right now for sure. our audience. If you would yes. be, and you know, I'll join with yes, you in prayer. Please. Yes. And let's pray. That's part of the warfare strategy yes, plan, I'm it sure. Is. It is. Let's pray those prodigals home right now. You don't have to wait. <laughs> God is with you, and we're going to pray for your prodigals and our own, because yes. we all have some, yes. and ourselves. Yes. So let's do it. I'd let's love for you to lead us Absolutely. in prayer, Lane. Father God, I just thank you for this opportunity. Lord, you are not only the healer, but you've already won the victory for our children. Lord, if there's a parent out there, a pastor, a grandmother, an aunt or uncle, that has a prodigal teen or young adult, let them hear today the victory is already won. Father, we, we know that through the blood of Jesus Christ, that is what I prayed years and years over my children. I prayed the blood of Jesus Christ because Lord, in the Passover days, there was a blood-soaked cross put over every door frame and the angel of death had to cross over. So in the name of Jesus today, enemy crossover. We want our prodigal set free now. So Father, we thank you for this victory. We thank you for this program that brings such hope to so many. And Lord bless Natalie on all that she does and everyone listening in the sound of our voices. Amen. I know that it's really important for people to get a hold of your books. How can they keep yes, in touch with you? Sure, go to lanelawsoncraft.com and uh, you can find the Warfare Parenting Podcast and Living Lively with Lane Podcast and all kinds of great things to inspire and give you hope. God is love and love comes from God. In 1 John, the Bible tells us that God is not only all loving, but that He actually is love itself. The heart of the Parent Compass television show is to bring the transforming love of God to families everywhere. In every Parent Compass episode, true stories reveal family struggles and how their lives were radically changed by the love of God. Parent Compass, an award-winning television series, is completely funded by people like you. If you have been touched by God and you want to share God's love to others, would you please pass it on? Jesus tells us to go into all the world and to tell about Him. With your donation, you allow us to take this television show into many different nations and in many different languages, free of charge. And a portion of your donation goes to Parent Compass Outreach to feed starving children. Your gift does so much. To make your tax-deductible gift, go to parentcompass.tv forward slash donate. That's parentcompass.tv forward slash donate. And thank you for sending love and hope around the world.